Did it your question? Jenny. Yeah, I'll start the timer. 50 minutes, 50 seconds. All right, so if you have read and understood, considering a communication skills session, kindly begin. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, doctor. I'm Dr. Jahan, one of the surgical doctors here. Can I confirm that I'm talking with uh, Mrs. X? Yes, you're talking to Mrs. X. Uh, okay, uh, nice to meet you, ma'am. Um, could you please tell me that what do you know so far about your daughter? Okay, I was uh, called upon that my daughter is uh, sick by a teacher in school. So I was mm -hmm. at work. So that's why I came that uh, she's in the hospital and that mm -hmm. they wanted to operate her. So that's why I came. Okay, so ma'am, first of all, uh, I'm really sorry about your daughter. And um, as we know that your daughter was bought by the school teacher and she is having tummy pain. And uh, we have uh, done our initial investigation and treatment. Our register has uh, uh, already given her uh, intravenous antibiotic, uh, intravenous um, painkillers also. And uh, in our initial investigation reveals that uh, it might be a case of acute appendicitis. So ma'am, do you know what is uh, appendicitis? Uh, I, I don't know, but are you sure that uh, is uh, that disease that you call that is disturbing her? Huh? Are you 100% certain? Okay, ma'am, uh, we are suspecting this. It is acute appendicitis. It is the most common situation in case of very young uh, children. And your uh, daughter, sign symptom, denotes that it is acute appendicitis. But, um, and uh, what is appendix? If I have to tell you that it is an organ, it's situated in right side of our lower tummy. So is there any infection happened to it? We call it acute appendicitis. And, um, the answer of your question that we cannot uh, we cannot be hundred percent sure that it is acute appendicitis until unless we uh, operate upon her. Mm. But what if we do operate upon her? Is there any problem with that? Uh, yes, actually, there is no surgery without any complication. And if you don't want to do the um, operation that as she is a child and she has less fat in her tummy so there may be a chance of perforation so in uh, which is uh, very dangerous i can say that and in such cases you have to go to the higher center uh, with your child but i am assuring you that we will try our best uh, okay 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 but the, the, this car will be so big you know she's a lady uh, you know, she's not going to have a very big scar after the surgery. Um, a small horizontal wound, uh, uh, so it may be a little scar, but uh, we may need to expand the wound and it may be disfiguring, but don't worry about that. Um, it can be managed later on. Okay, okay, okay. Hope there can be any uh, problem with the wound getting infected and then any problem uh, yes, uh, Mrs. X, in very rare condition, uh, severe infection can block the reproductive tube in young girls. So future subfertility may be happen, but um, I am assure you that this is a very unlikely uh, condition. So hope for the best. Okay, okay. Who is doing the surgery? Are you the one doing the surgery? 
Uh, yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, we are waiting for Mr. Ladd to come. Uh, he will do the surgery upon your daughter. You, you said Mr. Ladd? Yes. No, no, no. That's, that's not possible. I want somebody else to. It was Mr. Ladd. They operated on my husband uh, three months ago and uh, it wasn't funny. So, can I, why can't you do the surgery? Please go oh, ahead and do the surgery. I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Please accept my uh, deep condolences. But may I ask, what happened to him? And he has a colon cancer. Uh, Mr. Ladd did surgery and then within six weeks after, then he, he died. Mm -hmm. Oh, ma'am, um, again, I apologize about that. This is very unfortunate, but I think those are two different conditions. There may be a possibility that your husband maybe died due to cancer, but not for the surgery. And um, I can assure you that Mr. Ladd is one of the most um, experienced surgeons in this facility. And uh, he, ha he has a very good reputation over his surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. If you, if you say so, okay. Can can I see her now? Uh, uh just uh, let me see what I can do for you, ma'am. If, if uh, just I have to talk with the uh senior person uh, about that, then I can let you know. Okay, all right. Thank so you. Is there anything you want to ask, Mrs. Six? No, I don't have any other question. If I have any other question, I'm going to uh, get back to you. Okay, so uh, is it all right if I summarize everything what we've been talked through? Yes, right. Okay, so your children, ha your child has been brought here by her school teacher. Uh, her complaint was about tummy pain, and we have given her initial treatment and investigation reveals that maybe she has uh, acute appendicitis. Now we have to do the operation here, and Mr. Ladd is coming to do the operation, and I have explained the risk and the. Um, risk and the benefit of this operation to you. So ma'am, thank you so much for your kind cooperation and understanding. We are all here to help you. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm going to leave my number to the nurse desk. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask it. Okay, have a good right. day, Mrs. Thank Six. You, you thank still you so have much. time left. And this station is about taking consent from the mother. Child is already in Oshie. Hmm? Yeah. You still have one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so Mrs. Uh, Miss, uh, uh, Mrs. X, another thing I forgot to ask you, uh, my bad. Um, I have to take your consent about her operation. Are you going to give me the consent? Okay, yes. As no I problem, have already explained you everything. Yes, no problem. Bring the paper. I'm uh, going so, to sign. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to ready it. Uh, but uh, do you have any questions regarding the operation or anything else? No. Except for the surgeon change, request for the surgeon change. Yes. Okay. Do you still have one minute, right? So that's why I'm trying you to. All right. If you're done, then um, if you're done, then then. But I still have forty seconds left. Yes. Okay. It was good, but uh, we can make it even more better. You're getting better every day. Trust me. Uh, Thank you. One last thing. When you were saying, if you have any question, can I, because you cannot, uh, can I summarize it? Uh, you cannot ask because you are superior here. You are the candidate, exam candidate and your person. And you're talking to the patient relative. Uh, so mm -hmm. instead of saying, can I, because that is kind of, you are taking permission. So you can mm -hmm. say, okay, if, um, now the bell, okay, now bell rang. Uh, you can say, okay, now that I've, uh, I've explained it to you, if you don't have any more questions, let me summarize it for you because then let the me. tone, yes, tone would change. Mm -hmm. Let me summarize okay. it for you and then you can summarize. And uh, when you were, explaining that in a very rare and severe condition uh, there could be an infection which can block the reproductive system then it will be wise if you can say but it's nothing to be worried about as there is always two systems like there are always two tubes so if one even gets blocked it may cause little subfertility but nevertheless 
child can still be fertile because the other side. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but uh, doc, the, uh, he didn't ask me that she didn't get pregnant in the future. That that was the missing uh, question. Yeah, if he yeah. asked me the question, then I will do this. Definitely. Yes, yes, I have. Yes. yes. Because if you add little, little uh, with every sentence, it will cover the time that 40 seconds before mm -hmm. left. Yes, and yes, of remember, course. And the this, patient yes. should be anxious. But my uh, patient mother, is very really calm yes. and <laughs> yes, uh, and you have yes. to say you don't you have to calm her down as well because you don't have to feel guilty. It's not your fault. Sit down. Yes. Do you want a yes, glass but, of water? Uh, so you have to. Yes, but the you. expression was very calm, so yeah. I didn't have the scope to talk through it. Like uh, yeah. please calm down. But and... remember, in the exam you would have to. So that extra time that you had today, that will be covered up. Because then you will be calming down the patient's mother and you will be doing all this. And remember, it's the consent. You have to take the consent. But the child is in OT and mother will insist on seeing the patient. I want to see my child. I want to meet my child. Uh, this is her. That would be her initial statements. And then, okay, I think she got disconnected. All right. Thank you.